friends. Welcome to Yoga for Cancer. I'm Rebecca, and we are starting today on our backs in a supine position. Please have handy a bolster or cushion pillow, um, your mat, obviously, a folded blanket or towel, and blocks if you have blocks available. And we will start lying on our backs. You can bend your knees if you like. And begin to feel the ground beneath you. Allow your hips, shoulders, the back of your head to be heavy. Begin to notice your sensory environment, the textures beneath your feet, maybe your hands at your sides. <coughs> Bear with me, I have my seasonal cough that I get every year. Irritating, but I'm well. Feeling the ground beneath you, the sky above you. Notice the temperature of the room. And the light filtering in. Maybe your eyes are open or maybe they're closed. Notice any sounds that you hear in your environment. Close by and further away. And then turn your attention to your own breath, the sensation of the body breathing. Noticing your inhales and your exhales. Following a full breath from point of entry all the way to fullness. And then the moment when the inhale becomes the exhale and follow the breath all the way out. Notice that transition again at the end of the exhale when a new inhale begins. Follow your breath for the next five breaths. Can you keep your attention on the sensation of breathing? Bring your hands to your low belly and see if you can bring the breath there. Inhaling, feeling an expansion in the low belly. Exhaling and feeling the belly drop. Each inhale, open up a little bit more. Find a little more space for breath. Each exhale, release and let go dropping more and more into the support beneath you. And now release your hands at your sides, palms down. We're going to come into a sequence of movements. Have your knees bent, your feet on the floor, knees and feet about hip distance apart. <clears throat> Have your feet close to your body. On your next exhale, press into your feet and gently press your low back into the mat, flattening out the lower curve of your spine. As you inhale, release that pressing and allow the curve to come back, the natural curve. So repeat that a few times. Exhale, 
into a pelvic tilt, pressing your low back down, and then release it on the inhale. A few more, exhale and press, and inhale and release. <clears throat> and the next time that you're pressing, press down through your feet, press your low back down, and gently tuck your chin, creating a length of spine along the floor. As you inhale, release the low back, release the neck. So with each exhale, pressing down, low back, tuck your chin. And as you inhale, release the tuck, release the press. A couple more like this. Feeling the length of your spine against the mat. And then come to stillness. And for the next movement, we've done this before in class. Some of you are newer and may not have done this with me, but we're going to do something called oscillating. And oscillating helps to move fluid through the body. <coughs> it helps to move the lymph through the body and it stimulates the immune system. It also helps to let go and release any held tension. So what we're going to do is press into your feet and flatten your spine and then release that press and undulate. I'm going to come down on the floor and see if I can demonstrate this. Let's see if you can see me. So it becomes a quicker movement. Press, release, press, release, press, release. So you press and then let go, press and let go, press and let go, and start to gently move up and down, north and south. Your head may nod, your low back presses down and lets go. And all of this action is starting from your feet. The rest of your body is still on the floor, but you're still sliding a little bit up and down. So stay with it. I'm going to take a look and see if I can see if you're getting it. Yeah, I can see a little bit of oscillating. And in order to achieve this, you really have to let go. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. Yeah, you've got it. And slowly come to stillness. Just take a moment to notice any sensation that you have from this movement. And when you're ready, draw your knees up to your chest, hug them in, and rock a little bit from side to side, releasing the low back, Middle back. Yeah, there you go. Draw the knees in. And then holding on to your right knee, allow your left foot to come down to the floor with your knee bent. And hold on behind the thigh of your right leg. Going to press your foot up towards the ceiling. So as if you could step on the ceiling, but let your knee be as bent as it needs to be to be comfortable. Yes, good, reach your leg up. And then begin to just point and flex through your foot. Pressing through the ball of the foot and then the heel. So just point and flex. If you tend to get cramps in your feet, then just point through the ball of the foot and don't flex the toes as well. So point and flex and then begin to take circles, big circles as if you're drawing a circle on the ceiling with your big toe. Find a place to reverse the circle. 
and then come to stillness. On an exhale, I want you to draw your knee a little closer to your shoulder, keeping your foot pressing up towards the ceiling. On an inhale, press your foot up as if you could make a footprint on the ceiling. It may not straighten your leg, but you're moving in that direction. Exhale, keep your foot pointing towards the ceiling, but bend your knee in. So in other words, the foot doesn't come down, it stays up, but the knee comes in closer to the body. Inhale and press away, getting longer, pressing your heel up towards the ceiling. And stay with this movement a few times, exhaling and inhaling, bending deeper and stretching longer. Stay with it for a few more breaths. And then give a nice shake to that leg and release it down. Walk your feet out wide on your mat, knees bent, and just let your knees drop gently from side to side. And come to stillness, draw both knees in, rock a little bit. And then Holding on to the left knee, allow the right foot to come down to the mat. Hold behind the thigh of your left leg and press your foot up towards the ceiling. Keep your knee very bent and begin to point and flex. This movement is just in the ankle, the foot and toes. It's beginning to get some circulation moving in your feet. Find a place to begin circling the ankle. Mine's cracking. And find a direction change, circling in the other direction. And then begin to press the sole of your foot up towards the ceiling. On an exhale, bend your knee a little deeper and draw the knee towards your shoulder. Inhale and press the foot up. Maybe the leg straightens or moves in that direction. Exhale and bend the knee towards your shoulder. And inhale, press up. Getting a little bit longer with each inhale. And bending a little bit deeper with each exhale. Just a few more here. And then give that leg a good shake and release your foot down. And again, walk your feet out wide and let your knees drop gently from side to side. Find your way to stillness, knees are bent. Knees and feet, hip distance apart, feet near your body. We're going to work with extending arms and legs together and opposites. And we'll start by raising the right arm up through the air until your knuckles come to touch either behind your head or out to the side. Exhale and Release the arm down back to your starting position. Inhale, raise the arm, open up. And exhale, slowly lower. This time we'll add the leg, the right leg. Inhale, raise the right arm and extend the right leg out along the mat, pressing out through your heel. So long stretch on that side. And then exhale and draw back to your starting position. Inhale, right arm and right leg in opposite directions. Exhale, come back to center. Work with the side for a few more breaths, finding movement that coordinates with your breath, <coughs> pardon me, that coordinates with your breath. So it takes the whole inhale, to stretch long and the whole exhale to come back to center. 
And when you're ready, switch sides, inhaling the left arm up or out, left leg extends, press out through your heel. Exhale and come back to center. Inhale, reach, left side body. Exhale, come back to center and continue for a few more breaths. Let the leg extend along the mat, press out through your heel. We're not lifting the leg, we're just drawing it in and out along the edge of the mat. And this, <coughs> excuse me, or the next time that you come to stillness in your original position, arms at your sides, knees bent, let's move to opposites. So right arm and left leg. Right arm overhead, left leg stretches long on the mat, press out through the heel. And then draw everything back to center. And then switch sides. Left arm, right leg. Exhale back to center. Take your time moving with your breath, changing sides. Beautiful. And when you've worked equally to both sides. Draw your knees into your chest, hugging in, and rock a little bit from side to side. Release your feet down to the mat and allow your legs to extend long and wide so your heels are coming to the edges of your mat. We'll inhale and raise your arms overhead if that's comfortable. Elbows can be very bent. And grasp your right hand with your left, your right wrist with your left hand, and begin to draw yourself into a side stretch. So stretching that arm up and over. Stay here or bring your right ankle to cross over your left without moving the placement of that foot. So you're coming into a C curve over towards the left side, stretching the right side body. Breathe hey, into any, uh, yes? Um, can you adjust your camera? Cause I can't, all I see is like the top of your chest area. Great, thank you. Perfect. Because it's got like a border around it. Thanks. Ah, gotcha. All right, there you go. Coming into your C curve on the right, the curving to the left, right side body stretching. And when you're ready, slowly release and grasp left wrist with the right arm, draw it across and cross the left ankle over the right, coming into a C curve or banana stretch. You control how much stretch in the body, breathing into any places that feel constricted or stuck. Don't move into any pain, just come into sensation that is tolerable breathable. Two more breaths here. And then carefully release arms at your sides and bend your knees once again. This time I'd like you to grab opposite elbows. Now you can keep your arms over your chest or Allow your arms to drop to the right as your knees drop to the left. Inhale back to center and exhale, 
El elbows to one side, knees to the other. Inhale back to center. You may stay with that orientation, or if it would be comfortable, raise your arms up over your head, holding on to opposite elbows. Drop your knees to the left. Maybe you turn your head to look right. Inhale through center and drop knees to the right. Maybe you turn your head to the left. Take another few breaths to work with this twist. Moving your arms and knees in opposite directions. And coming back to stillness in the center, once more, draw your knees in to your chest. We're going to move into a sequence where we'll be rolling to one side and then the other. You may need a support for your head. So maybe you grab your pillow or you have a bl blanket that you can fold. And when you're ready, roll to your right side. You'll lie on that side with your knees bent, drawing your knees forward like in a fetal position. Your arm will be extended in front of you and then you're going to place your left arm on top of the right. On an inhale, going to draw the left arm up the right arm all the way across the chest like you're drawing a bow to send an arrow flying. Reach your elbow all the way to the left and then inhale and come back to your starting position. Your knees will stay where they are. Your shoulders will begin to open as you draw to one side. Your head can roll to center if that's comfortable. Okay, so inhale, slide your arm, your hand up your other arm, drawing fluid with you. Exhale and come back to center. Stay with this movement for several repetitions. Allowing that shoulder to open, reaching with the el elbow behind you. And this or the next time that you come back to your starting position, arms extended, knees are bent. We're going to change the, mo the movement this time and inhale and open your arm up towards the ceiling and then keep going and allow your shoulders to open, your chest to open. Your knees stay where they are. Exhale and close. Come back to your starting position. So you control how far you go. Inhaling up. Now, don't stay up on your side and let your arm hang behind you. Allow the body to come into a twist. So maybe you only go part of the way, but your shoulder moves with your arm, right? So take a few breaths this way, inhaling and opening, coming into a twist, exhale, and come back to your starting position. With each inhale, with each opening, you twist a little more deeply, open a little bit more across the chest. If working with long arms isn't comfortable, you can always use an elbow instead. And this or the next time that you come back to your starting position, arms extended. This time we're going to trace 
and arc over our heads using your top arm. Draw a semicircle up over your head and then keep drawing back around until you come into your twist. Exhale and retrace your fingertip steps coming back to your starting position. Continue tracing this semicircle overhead, opening into the twist. Knees stay where they are. Exhale and trace your way back to your starting position. Stay with this movement, moving with the breath. So the inhale helps you to open. The exhale draws you back to your starting position. Take a few more breaths and then come, if it would be comfortable for you, come into the twist and hold. Releasing your arms, your shoulders, knees stay where they are. Breathing into the twist. And on an exhale, come back to your starting position and carefully roll to the other side. And we'll start the sequence there. So rolling onto your left side, set yourself up, knees bent, arms stacked, extended out in front of you, some support for your head. And we'll start with the bow, drawing the right arm. Let's see, you're on your left side, left arm down, right arm is on top, slowly drawing that arm up across your chest, leading with your elbow. And then exhale, close. Inhale, sliding up the arm across the chest. Elbow leads. Exhale to close. Take three or four more passes in this version, beginning to twist to the other side. Good. And this or the next time <coughs> that you come to your starting position, will change to opening the arm through space and an arc over your body, coming into the twist. Exhale and coming back to your starting position. Inhale to open and exhale to twist, to close, I mean to come back. Stay with this movement for several repetitions. You control the depth of your twist. Try not to hyperextend the arm so the shoulder and the arm move together. Yeah, good. And this, or the next time that you come back to your starting position, we'll finish with tracing the rainbow overhead, drawing your knuckles along the floor, up over your head, opening into the twist, and exhaling, tracing the same arc back to your starting position. Beautiful. Take your time with this movement until you're ready to come to stillness in the twist. Pausing to breathe, softening and opening. Take several breaths.
And this or the next time that you come back to your starting position, roll onto your back, maybe removing the pillow under your head. Draw your knees in last time. <clears throat> and then roll to one side and press up through sitting to make your way to tabletop. So coming, take your time coming to hands and knees. Make sure that you have padding underneath your knees. Knees are hip distance apart. If it's hard for you to be on, here, let me move further over as you can see. If it's hard for you to be on your hands, you can always come onto your fists with knuckles uh, down and thumbs pointing forward or come down onto your forearms. Find your table position. Long spine, crown and tailbone reaching in opposite directions. And then we'll move into some cat and cow. Inhale, lift your tail, soften your belly, raise the crown. Exhale, tuck the tail, lift the belly, release the head. Start with the tail first, lift the tail, soften the belly, raise the crown. And again, the tail leads, tucking, belly in, head releases. Take a few more passes through your cat and cow, opening the front body on your inhale and drawing up and in, opening between your shoulder blades on your exhale. And this, or the next time that you come through tabletop, pause here and we'll extend the left leg, toes curled under, press back, stretching through your foot and ankle. Inhale and raise the leg just to hip height, pressing out through your heel. Try not to open the hip, right? Keep the pelvis level, knee and toes pointing down towards the ground. Stay here or add the reach of the opposite arm. Drawing the belly in and up. One more breath, long reach. And then release your hand and bring your toes down. Keep the leg extended. We're going to pivot the heel down. Bring your other foot behind you like a kickstand and open into a modified side plank. Opening, reaching for the ceiling. Stay here or try reaching overhead, bicep near your ear, and maybe the top leg will float up. One more breath wherever you are. Lower your toes, your hand, your knee, and just rock from side to side. Wag your tail and we'll move to the other side, extending the right leg, toes down first. Find that stretch in your foot and ankle. And then inhale, maybe raising the leg to hip height, pressing out through your heel. Engage your belly. Maybe you'll add the opposite arm reach. Long reach on this diagonal. One more breath. And then lower your hand and your toes. Keep your leg extended. We'll pivot the heel down. Bring the other foot behind you like a kickstand and open into a modified side plank. Stay here or reach long overhead. Maybe the top leg floats up. Long stretch, inhale, and then lower hands, toes, knees, 
bringing your toes together and knees wide apart. Press your hips to your heels and come all the way down to child's pose. Allowing your head to rest either on stacked hands or stacked fists or even on the edge of a block or cushion. With each exhale, soften and drop your hips. With each inhale, open up in the back body, lower back. Take a few breaths, releasing the effort of this practice so far. And then from here, walk your fingertips back and we're going to press up to standing. You can follow along or take your own path. I'm going to curl my toes under and push back, knees bent, and then walk my hands all the way up till I come up to standing. So take your time making your way up to standing. I'm sure you can still see the top of my head. Yeah, there we go. We'll make our way into our Tadasana mountain pose. Grab a block. Homer's forgot. If you're working with a block or a small cushion, even some people have suggested like a fat roll of paper towels, or I don't know, I don't like a book for this, for this purpose, something soft. We're going to bring the block in between our lower legs. So below your knee, above your ankle. So squeeze in to the block. You want your feet and legs to be at about hip distance apart. So find whatever's going to give you that sensation. And if you don't have anything, that's fine. Just press down through your feet and then imagine you're drawing your lower legs towards each other. Squeezing in, feel how that it helps you to engage the whole center line of the body lifting through the pelvic floor, through the abdominal muscles. Inhale and raise your arms up. And exhale, close hands at heart center. Keep squeezing in towards center. Let's take another breath. Inhale, squeeze in, reach up. And exhale, lower hands to heart center. Press into your palms, squeeze in to the block. Lots of engagement here, lots of strength. Hold this for three, two, one, and release and let it go. Remove the block and place it between your feet. Hugging in at your feet or ankles into this block changes the sensation, but you get similar, that similar feedback of drawing in towards center so that you can lift up tall. Find your mountain pose, reaching up through the crown of your head, pressing down through your feet, down through your fingertips, lifting up, growing tall. Take a moment to look ahead of you and find a drishti or focal point kind of the horizon point, right, at, at eye level, <coughs> pardon me. Eyes on your focal point, begin to press down through your left leg. We'll raise the right heel and then turn out at the hip and rest your heel on your block. Maybe this is your Brikshasana tree pose. Or maybe you step your foot up on the block or bring the sole of your foot to your other leg above or below the knee. Just don't press into your knee. Wherever you are making that connection, 
pressing down, pressing in, drawing energy and breath up through heart center into branches. Grow your branches wide. Expand the canopy of your tree. Find your sense of being grounded, rooted in place, and also lifting and growing towards the sun. And next, exhale, draw hands through heart center, bring two feet down, maybe shift a little bit from side to side. Starting here, eyes on your focal point, hands together at heart center, begin to root down through that right leg, raise your left heel and turn out at the hip. So the knee and hip and toes are externally rotated. Stay here or bring that foot up to the block or to your other leg above or below the knee. Pressing down, pressing in, lifting up. Breath is flowing up through center and expanding. Branches grow. Open the heart, let the breath flow. Be flexible in your tree, rooted in place. And next, exhale, two feet down, hands at heart center, and come to stillness. Find your breath. Beautiful. Release hands down. Walk out just a little bit wider and come into a gentle twist, allowing your arms to float out and around. Your head can follow your shoulders or stay looking straight ahead at your focal point. Just a little release here. And let it go, shaking out. Okay, we have one more standing sequence, and then we'll be making our way down to some seated poses and then a restorative before Shavasana. If you still have your block, bring it into your hand, and once again, place it between your lower legs, below the knee, above the ankle. I'm turning to the side so that you'll be able to see my body position. So find your Tadasana here, squeezing in, lifting up strength through your legs, through your middle body, reaching through the crown of the head. Hands on your thighs. We're going to come into chair pose. So begin to hinge at the hips, reaching back behind you with your tailbone. Allow your knees to bend. Hands can rest on your knees or thighs, look down and make sure you can see your toes, right? That your knees aren't coming forward, but pressing back behind you. Squeeze that block. Long spine, reach through the crown of the head. Keep squeezing in, squeezing in, drop down a little bit more and then squeeze into center and inhale, come all the way up. Exhale, hands at heart center. Take a pause to find your breath. Pressing palms together, squeezing in towards your block, lots of strength. Inhale to grow tall and exhale, begin to sit back. You can always bring your hands back to your knees or keep them at heart center. Long spine. Knees are bent as if you're trying to sit in a chair that's too far away. Make sure you can see your toes. Keep lengthening through the crown of the head, pressing hands and legs towards each other. One more breath and then press in to grow tall. Inhale up and exhale hands to heart center. 
So that's one, hands at the knees, two, hands at heart center. You can do either of those or third version. We'll inhale, reach arms long as you sit back. This gives you this kind of counter pose, right? You're reaching long, squeezing in towards center. You can see your toes. Knees are back over your ankles. Get really long. Squeeze in, drop down one more breath and then squeeze in towards center, rise all the way up. And exhale, Whew. release arms, let go of the block. Shake out your legs. And take your time making your way back down to sitting. And we'll come into a seated bound angle, soles of feet together, knees apart. So when you get here, rock a little bit from side to side, a little massage, and then come to stillness, sitting up nice and tall. And notice here, if you're rolling way back onto your tailbone, and that's an indication that you need a little more support. So take either your flat cushion, or I'm grabbing my folded blanket, and I'm going to tuck it underneath my hips to give me just that little bit more support to sit up nice and tall. If this is uncomfortable, in your, for your legs to be dropping, you can use your blocks, one under each knee, just to give you a little bit more support. Hands on your knees, shins, or ankles, or hold on to your feet. Inhale and grow tall. Feel your sitting bones making contact with the mat beneath you, with the ground, and rise up nice and tall, reaching up through the crown of your head. As you exhale, try to let go in your hips and thighs, allowing the knees to drop a little heavier into the blocks or down towards the mat. So we'll take this, it's almost like a little pulse. Inhale, grow tall. Exhale and soften. Inhale, reach, grow tall, hold on to your legs, pull against them to get some length. And then exhale and soften and release. One more time, inhale tall and exhale, soften. Remove the blocks if they're there and assist your legs to come out long. And just some gentle windshield wiper action, maybe some little bounces. Now we're going to come into a reclined bound angle. And so gather your props. You should have your blanket, your blocks, and your cushion. I'm going to bring my bolster behind me so that I sit not on it, but in front of it. It's at the, my lower back. I'm going to have my blanket handy, my blocks handy. Bringing soles of feet together. Maybe you'd like the extra support here. And then use your hands to help you come all the way back onto your bolster. Maybe you grab your blanket and bring it underneath your head for a little bit more support. Readjust your pelvis, your back, make sure that this feels okay. If this is too much of a back bend for you, then remove the bolster. Just slide it out of the way and come down onto your back. If you're comfortable here, feel supported, then think about turning your shoulder blades under and hugging them towards each other so that your arms turn externally rotated, palms 
reaching up towards the ceiling. Allow your arms to be heavy at your sides. Make sure that your head isn't dangling. If you feel like you're not well supported, make sure you have a blanket or pillow underneath your head. Take a moment to take some inventory and make sure that the body feels supported. If anything is uncomfortable, I mean, it's okay if there's sensation, but the difference between a feeling of a maybe a gentle stretch or an opening versus discomfort in your knees, in your back, <coughs> excuse me, in your neck. And please make adjustments to find a more comfortable position. If you are not comfortable in this position, then just move on to your back, moving the props out of the way. Once you find your settled position, begin to focus on your breath. As you inhale, feel a spaciousness in the inner body. As you exhale, see if there is anywhere that you can let go just a little bit more to sink into the support beneath you. Each inhale creates space, an opening space for more breath. And each exhale allows you to sink a little bit more into the stretch, into the support beneath you. Stay here for a few breaths. Allowing the body to open, allowing the heart to open. Now you have the option of staying in this position if you feel very well supported and quite comfortable, or rolling to one side, removing the props, and coming into your comfortable Shavasana rest pose. Take your time to get really comfortable. Releasing through your toes, your feet and ankles. Wherever they are, allow your legs to be heavy. Releasing through the pelvic floor, through the groins allowing your hips to release. Softening in the low back, in the low belly. Opening the heart and the space between your shoulder blades, the back of the heart space. Letting go in your neck and shoulders. Allow the shoulders to rest down towards the ground. Arms are heavy, palms open. Actively release through your jaw. Make sure there's a space between your teeth and that your tongue can rest in the mouth. Relax the muscles around your eyes and that space between your eyebrows. Soften and broaden your forehead and feel a sense of spaciousness at the crown, <coughs> excuse me, at the crown of your head. Release 
relax and rest. When I am among the trees, especially the willows and the honey locust, equally the beech, the oaks and the pine, they give off such hints of gladness. I would almost say that they save me and daily. I am so distant from the hope of myself in which I have goodness and discernment and never hurry through the world but walk slowly and bow often. Around me, the trees stir in their leaves and call out, stay a while. The light flows from their branches and they call again. It's simple, they say, and you too have come into the world to do this, to go easy, to be filled with light and to shine. Begin to deepen your breath, bringing small, <coughs> pardon me, bringing small movements into fingers and toes. When you feel ready, carefully roll to one side and pause. And then press into your fingertips to bring yourself up to sitting allowing your attention to stay deeply inward for just another moment or two. 
will seal our practice with one chant of Om for the community that we create when we practice together. If you'd like to join, bringing hands to heart center, we'll inhale. Shanti, peace, peace, peace. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing, <coughs> pardon me, for sharing your practice with me and with each.